Ash. Hello, everybody. I'm Ash. And I'm Irk. And we are back with some more Kerbal Space Program. This is our second test with the fixed parachutes on its way down to... Well, do you want to, do you want to call it third test? Because the, uh, the first let's, test let's kind of... Let's not even talk about the first test. The oh, first test just on. died on the launch pad. That was my favorite test. Um, we fixed the problem. It was, uh, it was a computer glitch. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to pull the parachutes here. Uh, I'm actually going to speed it up. Technically, you're not supposed to time warp, but I know these parachutes won't deploy before five, you know, kind of 500 meters. So we'll shoot down to 1,000 meters here really quick. I think we got it better now. I actually turned off the, um, I took it off the rocket and found the center of mass. And eyeballed the parachutes. Oh, I need gear. Gear. Oh, no! <laughs> what the hell did you do? Oh, no! Oh, man. Oh, dear. Oh man. Um We'll be right back. Alright, we're back. We are back. Oh, oh god. What are you what are you doing? I don't know. Oh sweet Jesus, what are you doing? Oh, this is not good. So, um uh hopefully we clear this thing. <laughs> oh alrighty. Wow. Um so basically what I've done here is I've added a two stage parachute. This parachute deploys at a much higher altitude. So, um, we're gonna use that first. Actually, we're gonna deploy all three parachutes, let it slow us down, and then right before these two deploy, I'm gonna get rid of this one using the Sepertron. Um, and hopefully it will flip upright and come to the surface in one piece, um, without blowing up. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. That'd be great. A lot of trial and error with this game. Um... Mostly, mostly error with mostly us, Mostly error. Mostly yes, error. mostly error. <laughs> so, uh, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna go deploy the parachutes now. Alright. Hmm? Alright, let's fast forward it. The 25, so a 35, I'll slow it back down again. Alright. So, this parachute deploys at 2,500 meters. Which one? The, the middle one right there? The middle one. It should deploy at 25, or before that, since we're above elevation. There hey, we go. there it is. Beautiful. So look how slow we're going now. So right before, I think it's like 700 meters because we're at some elevation here. There's some rockets blowing up. These will deploy, and I'll, actually, I'll just let these deploy. Will they flip it back over? I'm not sure if, um... <laughs> Well, this one, I, I can d detach this one. My question is, oh, okay. when do I detach it? Um, I think I'm going to let these deploy. And, um... When do those deploy? Uh, it should be around 500. Let's, 500? 500 meters. Well, actually, well, 700 about. I think we're at an elevation of 200 here. So at about 1,000, I'll slow it back down so the physics doesn't get all cracking on me. <clears throat> oh, let's put the gear down. We're gonna put the gear. Uh, it's actually up now because it's upside down. But it's down. Okay. But it's down. All right. <laughs> right. I don't think this is gonna work. I think that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for explosions. You just want failure. You want a whole video of failure. Well, yeah, because I'm not the one physically doing All it, right, so, so the so failure will be on you. Now let's detach that. Oh! Oh! Wow! Oh! <laughs> wow! Beautiful. All right. Ah, oh, man, I gotta pitch this one back even further, don't I? I don't know, we'll see. I think it'll be okay. I mean, I think it'll be okay. Uh, yeah, it'll be 500 okay. 500 meters ago. That's pretty cool, I like that. Uh, if we can make it work. We can make it work here at, uh... Oh, oh, oh! Asha, Ash, Asha? Can we call it Asha? <laughs> oh. Oh, we're going pretty... Eh, we're kind of quick. No, oh. we'll be fine. Beautiful! Oh, man. Beautiful, alright, so this will do the trick. I'm gonna move that parachute back a little bit, and then we'll just we'll just go for it. I mean, uh, yeah, I think it'll work. All right, so we're on the launch pad here with our um, actual attempt to get to the North Pole. With, this will be our what sixth failed attempt coming up right now. No, this will be our first successful attempt. Oh, okay. That's how I will look at it. Where are we right now? Here we are. Is that us? Yes, this is us. So we're gonna go from here all the way to there. Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> You're gonna be a jerk the whole way. Uh, I can do it. We've done science. We've done the maths. Um, let, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna bring it up to there so we don't overheat. Put on the SAS. Uh, get smooth controls with caps lock and countdown for us, Irk. Four, three, two, one, go. Go! Whoa! 
<laughs> oh, alrighty. Well, that looks pretty good. Got a long way to go. Yes, yes, a long way. No, we can do it. We can do this. I don't actually remember how I did all the other flights. I think around 10,000 meters, I'm gonna do a little turn northward. Actually, I'm gonna do it right now. Wait, north is down. Oh god. Down, 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 down. Just a little bit. Just like that. That's good. Just to get an idea. still have, uh, you know, a third of tank and all of these, uh, booster rockets. <laughs> uh, you can try it again. Nah. <laughs> oh! Alright, um... Let's see, where are we at? Our apoapsis? Apoapsis, right? God. Let's throttle down. Oh, whoa. Alright, that is plenty high enough. Still not close enough. Alrighty. Um, I want this number to stop going down. Here, 60. Alright, good. So we're going to do a little maneuver here, right before that. Bring it all the way up, hopefully. Um, our North Pole. Done with you. Uh, right, we need to turn a little bit. Ooh, that might do it. Oh, it looks a little far. We have to overshoot for the atmosphere. Oh, okay. Um, and let's just, let's go with that. I, I like that. I feel good about that. Oh, whoa. Wow, you're really uh, changing it up there. Okay, here. Oh, that's a big, big aircraft. Why am I rolling? Oh, God. I got this. I got this. Do you? Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, look at that. That was pretty good, right? So we got a minute, a minute 30. A minute 30 to what? <laughs> Till our maneuver. We're gonna, this is us right now, so we're gonna burn right here and change it so that we're almost in orbit there. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, I have to be careful not to do too much because I'll go straight into orbit. Now we can always catch on the other way around, right? <laughs> I don't think it works <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, maybe. Yeah, let's fast forward a little here. So, uh, although we're in space right now, it is technically still a suborbital flight because we never make it into orbit. I think we might make it to orbit. No, I, don't I think, think you're going to overshoot I it. I am and... not going to overshoot this. I don't know. Uh, no, I should be burning by now because it's a 50 second burn. Oh, God! Oh man. Oh, don't don't spin out of control on me yet. Uh, the whole point of these maneuvers is to not look at that screen, but I always worry that it's just we throttle down a little. You can have enough fuel to get there? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. I want to keep tilting up. I mean, there should be no atmosphere here, so I don't understand why the, uh, the rocket... Oh, it's probably because of the mass of the pulls. Pull mass. Technical term. All pull right. mass. Yeah, I wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand. All right, we're a pro... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Going in hot. Uh. Uh. 
And... Cut it there. That'll do it. I think that'll do it. I'm comfortable with that. Oh, oh, we're in the planet. Wow. All right.